the ducks go like quack, 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 quack. Things go up, woo! Things go down, and the world goes around and around and around and around. It's the duckies song. Guess what? <laughs> Thank you, Tony. High five on that. Boys and girls, oh, yeah, we've got ducks. Yeah. So friends, before I know, woohoo! Zooming in, Tommy. Okay, I know it's exciting. Friends, we already are on day 26. It's Mother's Day, and I got to wake up this morning on the May 10th, the 26th day of my egg incubation, and I wound up seeing that there were seven hatched eggs. Yesterday, on the 9th, unfortunately, I was just watching a bunch of eggs with holes in it, and no one was coming out, and all I heard was a lot of peeping, and I'm like, ah! Are they gonna come out? But I couldn't help them. They gotta do it themselves. It seems like you're like, but I could just help them a little bit. No, that's what the 4-H lady tells me and I always will stand by it. But if Tommy comes a little bit closer, you can see exactly what happens with those eggs. As you can see, everything inside of the egg is absorbed. That little duck, that little baby duckling does not come out until it's completely absorbed all the contents. There's a little bit of an example of some of the stuff that might be inside the egg. That's I'm not concerned about. But these eggs are absolutely empty. And they kind of just crack a little bit. You think that they burst the whole egg open. They don't. It's kind of like they just simply pop the top off. So guess what? While they get all done hatching, when they're all done hatching, they stay in the incubator for a couple of hours. And I do that because they have to stay warm and they're kind of drying off. And then I put them into the brooder box where the rest of them are right now. This morning, there were seven inside this incubator, all huddled together and peeping away. So I picked them up one by one. I put them in the brooder box. I made sure that each one of them got some water. This is the water that I made sure they all took a little drink of. There's marbles in that water. And a big reason for that is so that they can see the water. Otherwise it looks clear. So the marbles kind of give it some color and some attraction. And then they kind of see that and hear that. So here we go. In here, friends, is another little duckling that just hatched, I'd say about six hours ago. So I'm gonna take him out right here. I'm gonna be real gentle with him. He's just been born. And he's gonna go in there with all of his friends. And then hopefully, well, let me go first, make sure he gets a drink of water. I gotta do that. You actually have to put their head by the water and then I'll put him by his friends. And this morning, that's pretty much what they did. They all huddled together and took care of each other. This is what I call a pile of ducks. <laughs> Best looking pile of ducks I've ever seen. So friends, let's open this up and see what's still happening. It's very moist and warm. There is one egg here that's still working, one egg here, one egg here. These are not doing much, but they're heavy. These are empty, so I pull them out. I am going to get this a little bit moist again. Can you hear that? This one right here wants to come out. I hear it peeping. So friends, oh, there he is. So these sponges, I need to keep them wet because I still have little people trying to get out. So I'm gonna close it up a little. It's pretty amazing. So I bring it back down. Remember that the incubator is pretty much staying at 100 degrees consistently. You guys, this has been too much fun. Again, I am so glad that I have, ah, oh, we have ducks. So friends, again, let's remember, you never realize how amazing nature is. Look at that pile of ducks. There are eight so far. Look how cute they are. And that baby already is been embraced by the others. <laughs> See you guys later. I'm going to take care of my ducks.